Paintings by Pablo Picasso, Emily Carr and Jean-Paul Riopelle are passing through Montreal on their way to be auctioned in Toronto. The public is invited to have a glimpse of these rarely exhibited paintings on Saturday at the Heffel Gallery downtown. They're part of an auction of mostly Canadian artwork where sales spiral into tens of millions of dollars. Joining me now to talk about the artwork and the auction is Robert Heffel, Vice President at the Heffel Auction House. Welcome to Art Montreal. Thank you for having us. This is so exciting. How often are these paintings shown to the public, the ones that we're going to see? Exactly. I mean, the, the Picasso, for example, is the first time it's been shown in Canada. It's the first time it's been offered in Canada. Wow. So it's a, it's a rare opportunity to see a masterpiece, Picasso. Well, let's talk about that. The Picasso painting is titled Femme au Chapeau. Who is the femme? Who's the woman in the hat? It's <laughs> a very good question. It's Dora Maar. Dora Maar was the uh, well-known surrealist, uh, surrealist artist, photographer, uh, an important subject for uh, Picasso, Picasso's lover at the time. Uh, some of Picasso's most famous paintings and most valuable paintings are of, of Dora Maar, and this is, this is a, a stunning example of a Dora Maar portrait. Wow. And, and there's also a painting by a Canadian artist, Emily Carr, which depicts uh, a street scene in an indigenous community on Vancouver Island. What brought her there to paint? Well, the, Emily Carr in 1907 went up to Alaska and saw First Nations villages and totem poles and at, at that time decided it was, she wanted to make that her life mission to depict First Nation villages and totem poles. She spent a few years uh, doing watercolors of scenes and she realized she didn't have the artistic toolkit to really convey the emotion that she wanted to be, convey of these First Nation villages. So she went to France in 1910, 1911. And at that time, Paris was the center of the art world and she studied modern art. And she came back to uh, British Columbia and, and, and painted these uh, incredible series of paintings in 1912 of uh, First Nation villages. And the, uh, the concept of using bright colors, bright pole colors, mm. this was a very modern idea. Today we look at this painting and we think, oh, this is a beautiful modern painting. But at the time, this was a very avant-garde painting. But by using bright colors, she's conveying the emotion of this First Nations village, and, and it's a very important painting. Well, she was very avant-garde at the time, and, and bordering on, on abstract, I've, yes. I've heard it said, but yeah. how did the public receive them when they were first shown? I mean, exactly. In 1912, when they, it, they weren't well received. In fact, she huh. kind of went, to, she had a big, sh she put on a show of her, uh, of her own, and really the critics sort of panned the exhibition, and she sort of went into a period where she didn't paint for a while afterwards, and. Um, Oh, it was, it would, they, um, and now, of course, this is, um, this is a masterpiece, and we realize it's a masterpiece, but she was ahead of her time. How much do you think this is going to go for at auction? The Emily Carr estimate is 2 to $3 million Canadian, which I know that's a lot of money, but that actually is a, that's a realistic and conservative mm -hmm. estimate. Is there, like, do, do you get sort of like an amount that you're happy with? <laughs> like, if it goes for that much, are you happy with that, or and anything above that is just, you and know, Heffel, gravy? At Heffel, any time we sell a painting over a million dollars, we're happy. Okay. <laughs> we're, I mean, I shouldn't, I mean, we're happy every time. You know, but the, um, the, it was the year 2000, we sold, our first time we sold a painting for a million dollars. And at that time, that was a really big deal. But since then, we've sold, uh, I, I should know this off the top of my head, but over 30, th well over 30 paintings over a million dollars. So, wow. uh, you know, the, the Canadian art market and the international market has really changed and it's really grown. and. Um, but um, it just shows you people how much we value our culture and, and value. And this is, this is very important. It should be valued that way. Well, these pa paintings are being sold at, at an auction in Toronto later this month, along with about 100 others. And you're expecting about $20 million in sales? The, the estimate's 20 to $25 million. The Picasso's estimate at 8 to $10 million. And uh, yeah, it's, a, it's a very big auction. We're very excited. It's going to be great. And does the financial value of the painting like, generally line up with the artistic value? I would say so, yes. Eventually, um, um, you know, history and uh, things catch up and, and eventually when you look back on it, it's easier to look back and you realize who are the, the most famous and most important and groundbreaking and the most historically significant artists. So value does catch up with, um, um, with the importance of the work, but mm -hmm. it, it takes time. As, it, as we talked about the Emily Carr in 1912, People didn't quite realize how important these were, and now, but that, but so you know, it takes. It's it's easier when you look back on time, and you can really look at the history. Mm -hmm. 
Well, that might be one of the groundbreaking paintings this time around. And you certainly have had some groundbreaking moments. Let's watch a clip from an auction. Now, this is from 2016, and it's a painting called The Mo uh, Mountain Forms by a group of seven artists, Lawrence Harris, and it's being auctioned off. Let's watch that. We'll start this lot off at 2,500,000. At 2,500,000, several places now, 2,6, 2,7, 2,800,000, 2,900,000. Five million. Five million. At five million dollars, a new record for a Canadian work at auction in a single called out tell bid. Well done. At nine million five hundred thousand and in the room at nine million five hundred thousand. One quick crack at a hammer and one giant leap for the Canadian art market. Selling, selling now. Yours, sir, nine five. So what's the point of holding an auction when you can easily do it online? We do do monthly online auctions. Um, at Heffel, uh, we, we, uh, we have galleries all across the country, and in each one of our galleries we have specialty online sales, and they do very well. Um, but we also do live auctions every May and November. We, do, we hold the live auctions in Toronto. This Heffel auction is coming up November 20th in, in Toronto, and, and we, publish, we publish catalogs. And, you know, there is, uh, look, online auctions are great. It's very exciting, and it's the, the world. We, we do over $10 million a year in our online auctions, but there's something also very exciting about, they're both great. Mm -hmm. And, um, but and just this. Doing it in person. There, there is, there, there is a, uh, there is an electricity in the room, and uh, it will be a very exciting auction. We broadcast our auction live on the internet, heffel.com. A lot of our clients from all over the world watch the auction. It's like they get popcorn and beer or whatever. <laughs> And they love it. And, uh, you know, we put on a good show. And, um, but having said that, our, our online auctions are tremendous as well. And we try to, in our online auctions, they're, they're separate, but we try to create the same kind of electricity. But, you know, as you said, it's, they are two different things. How, so Picasso and Emily Carr, how do you find these things? How do they come to you? Uh, a lot of it's, you know, we've been doing this for over 30 years and uh, we're building relationships with people. The, the, uh, the Emily Carr and the Picasso, they're found, the Emily Carr we've known about for a long time. We've built a very good relationship with, uh, with the consigner, the consigner being the owner of the painting. Mm -hmm. And same with the Picasso, it's a family that we've dealt with and built a relationship with. But the important part about the Picasso is, of, um, you know, it's a European family and of all the places this decided to yeah. To sell it, they've decided on Canada, and, and at Heffel, we're really we're part of a bigger ecosystem. We're we're trying to grow Canada into a a bigger art art market center, and it, deservedly so. It should be. It's a safe haven country, and um, you know Canada deserves to have its place in. And, and also by by bringing in great international works, it also shows shows the world our great Canadian artists. So we'll have people come and see the Picasso, and they'll say, Oh, who's this Emily Carr? And so it really helps contextualize our great Canadian artists, but also grow the Canadian art market and, and the international art market in Canada. Well, speaking of, you know, getting noticed for Canadian art, is that Canadian art being sold to Canadians or is it, is it going overseas? Because your buyers are from everywhere, I would imagine. Our buyers are from everywhere. And uh, for, for the Emily Carr, for example, we'll have interest from United States, Europe, but predominantly, um, well, we'll see, but I, the buyer could very well be Canadian. Interesting, when we get great international works in, uh, you know, we, we, our phone lines are full. We have people all over the world, but quite often Canadians end up buying those pieces as well. So hmm. we're bringing international artwork back into Canada. And um, so, you know, uh, you know, don't discount Canada. The Canadian, Canadians can, can, buy, uh, can buy as well, and, and they do. And I think we haven't even spoken about the Riopelle yet. Tell me about the Riopelle that's going to be up. Jean-Paul Riopelle, one of um, Canada's most important um, abstract painters, went to Paris in the 50s, um, an artist very close to Montreal's hearts, and uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a stunning painting. The estimate's 950,000 to 1,250,000. Uh, but uh, again, on that painting, we've had a lot of interest from mm -hmm. across Canada, but also internationally, some very big collectors. So you're selling this for, these paintings for hundreds of thousands of dollars, millions, you're not exactly rolling them up, putting them in a tube, and shipping them. <laughs> How do they get to the buyers? Uh, well, there are some very good fine art um, transport companies um, um, the, uh, in Canada. One of the one of the best is Pacific Art Services. Mm -hmm. and there's there's companies that specialize in fine art transport, and um, it's a good question. This uh, 
our transport is um, is a very there's major museum shows that come into Canada and those are logistically uh, uh, shows that take a lot of effort in terms of transporting and there I'm sure there's armed, gar armed guards and oh, yeah. plain side assistance involved and um, yes sometimes like the movies just very much so <laughs> <laughs> and out of the hundred or so paintings that you're auctioning off do you have a favorite or is there one that you're really keeping your eye on that you think might surprise people well, the, the, we talked about the Picasso and the, and the Emily Carr. Those certainly are two, two of my favorites. On the cover of the post-war catalog is a Joan Mitchell painting, painted in the 50s. Joan Mitchell is an American abstract uh, expressionist painter who spent half her time in New York and Paris. But Joan Mitchell was also Riopelle's girlfriend by the, by the 50s and 60s. There was a recent um, amazing touring exhibition entitled Mitchell Riopelle. Mm -hmm. And that's on the cover of our post-war contemporary catalog. And, I can't tell you how excited, well, we're very excited about the wholesale, but we were so excited when, um, we'd known about that painting for a while as well, but when they, when they called us up and said, we're going to consign the, the Joan Mitchell to us, uh, to, to Heffel, we were so excited. It's, it's very, very exciting. Well, this sounds like it's going to be fascinating. I hope the gavel comes down in your favor. Can I say that? <laughs> I think you should. Yeah, well, luck, <laughs> luck counts too, and uh, yeah. Thank you so much for joining us. I appreciate it. Thank you for having us. You can get a glimpse of some of the paintings at the Heffel Gallery on Sherbrooke Street West on Saturday. And you can also watch the auction online on the Heffel website. It will take place November 20th.